In this video presentation, we're going to be taking a look at the SQL um, select statement. I'm going to go ahead and launch a SQL Management Studio that I have already installed on this computer. And we're going to be using the SQL Management Studio to go ahead and connect to the SQL Server and issue the uh, select statements. First thing I need to do is specify the server name that I'm connecting to and type of authentication. In this case, we have Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication. If you choose Windows Authentication, then you can it'll just use the currently use, the currently logged on credentials. If you specify SQL Server Authentication, then you need to provide a user ID and password that's already defined in the uh, in the database. So I'll go ahead and hit connect. Okay, as you notice, I'm connected to the database um, server called itg.db, and this is a SQL Server 2008 R2 server. And if I expand the databases, it'll show you a list of databases that are being hosted by this SQL Server. I'm going to go ahead and, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using this ITG uh, SQL Test DB um, to connect to and issue uh, commands. If I expand that, um, we're going to be using the select statement and querying against a table called customers. Okay, so I can go ahead and click on the new query. Okay, so from this um, view here, we can go ahead and start to issue commands. So the simplest uh, command called uh, the select statement uh, can be used to query a table as an example and to produce um, the desired results. So I'm going to go ahead and start this uh, statement by typing select. Um, I'm going to use asterisk. The asterisk uh, tells SQL Server that um, I want to return all the fields or columns that are in that table. So then I'll type from, and normally um, you wouldn't have to type in the fully qualified name to the uh, table, but I'll just, for this example, I'll just go ahead and type it in, a schema next, and the name of the um, table. So if I t hit the execute button, um, it's going to go ahead and, and query this database table um, for all fields. So let's take a look. And the results show that this table uh, customers has four rows um, of, of data and the fields are as follows. The ID field, cust name, address, city, state, and zip code. Now if I wanted to be a little more specific um, in this, in this uh, statement and only return back a customer name and the city they live in, I can go ahead and specify the fields here. Customer name and separate the fields by a comma and city. Go ahead and execute. Now you'll notice that the same four rows are returned but only two of the uh, fields that I specified are returned. Okay, another thing we can do is use the distinct uh, keyword to tell SQL to only display uh, unique results. Now, if I use the distinct keyword here, there will be no difference. I should expect still full results because there is nothing uh, that is uh, duplicated. However, if I take a look at all the fields again, and we take a look at uh, our data, we notice that uh, for this example um, there are two of the rows contain California. Now even though I use distinct, I still got four rows. That's because each row is, is um, evaluated um, separately. So um, none of these rows at this moment are um, repetitive. So uh, what we can do is if we want to see how many distinct states we have, we can type in select distinct state. Now rather than getting four rows, I should get back three rows. Let's try it. And there you are. California, Florida, and Georgia. If I remove the keyword distinct, we should expect to see four rows. That's because there are four um, four rows of data in this in this database. And here you'll see that California came out twice. So again, you can use the distinct keyword 
when you want to tell SQL to not um, provide you with duplicate um, results. Okay, so um, that's all we're covering in this video tutorial. Um, we'll be looking at more complex um, statements uh, to query data from the database using select with other oper operators and other um, conditions to get more specific results. Thank you for watching.